Welcome to the first e-course of the five-part series for You Can Employ. The first e-course that we will be discussing is Autism 101, Introduction to Autism Spectrum Disorder. For full e-course access, please explore the options stated in our membership plans on the How It Works page of the You Can Employ website. This e-course recording is a free preview of the series and will cover the topics, advantages of hiring employees with autism, and understanding autism. This course will cover all information from the interactive portion and materials to ensure full accessibility for all learners. UCE members also gain access to the interactive modules and quiz questions tied to this course. The learning objectives that will be discussed throughout the e-course and will help members complete the e-course quiz questions that would commonly follow the learning module. The objectives will assist individuals in learning how ASD is diagnosed and treated, understanding the strengths and challenges of autistic individuals, and identifying at least three evidence-based practices for individuals with autism. Autism spectrum disorder is a complex brain disorder that emerges during early childhood. Although it is often diagnosed around two years of age, characteristics of the disorder can be seen as early as six months by a trained and well-seasoned professional in the field. Autism spectrum disorder is often referred to as autism or ASD. This disorder significantly impacts social skills, communication, and behavior across the lifespan. Because of the widespread diversity in the presentation of characteristics related to ASD, the disorder is considered to be a spectrum. This means that some people with autism may need support for the rest of their lives, needing to live in a supported environment to ensure they are safe and that their needs are being met. Others on the opposite end of the spectrum may live on their own, go to college, get married, and have successful employment. Now that we have watched the video, we will continue through the interactive portion. According to the CDC, in 2023, one in 36 children were diagnosed with ASD in the United States, with boys being around four times more likely to be diagnosed, and most individuals not being diagnosed until the age of four. All racial, ethnic, and social classes are affected by ASD, with white children being more likely to be identified than African American or Hispanic children. As mentioned in the video above, autism is a developmental brain disorder that emerges during early childhood. Autism significantly impacts social skills, communication, and behavior across the lifespan. The impact ASD has on social skills and communication can be seen through the difficulties individuals may have in maintaining eye contact, understanding nonverbal language, expressing emotions or feelings, especially through facial expressions, and sustaining social interactions. Individuals with ASD may also engage in restrictive and repetitive patterns or behaviors. These include manipulation of objects, rigid adherence to rules, repetitive movements, and fixations on objects. Because of the widespread diversity in the presentation of characteristics related to ASD, the disorder is considered to be a spectrum. This means that some people with autism may need support for the rest of their lives, needing to live in a supported environment to ensure they are safe and that their needs are being met, while others on the opposite end of the spectrum may live on their own, go to college, get married, and have successful employment. The exact cause of ASD is unknown at this time, although we are aware of various factors involved, including genetic, biological, and environmental factors. Factors associated with genes include inherited genes from the genetic makeup of the parents, spontaneous genetic mutations, or copying errors where several hundred, several hundred genes are implicated. Other risk factors include prematurity, low birth weight, or chromosomal disorders such as Fragile X and Rett syndrome. 10% of those with autism have chromosomal disorders. Maternal and paternal age is also associated with autism, specifically if the mother is over the age of 35 and the father is over the age of 40. Maternal obesity, diabetes, or immune system disorders can also be factors. When it comes to siblings, studies show that having a child with autism increases the risk of the next sibling also being diagnosed anywhere from 10 to 20 percent. 
In the case of twins, if one twin has ASD, the other will be affected 36 to 90% of the time for identical twins or zero to 31% of the time for non-identical twins. Autism is diagnosed based on observed behavior and developmental milestones that can be noticed by trained researchers as early as six months. There is no known cure for ASD, but early intervention and evidence-based treatment can improve development from an early age. Components to early intervention and evidence-based treatment include speech and language therapy, behavior therapy, occupational therapy, and caregiver implemented interventions. Some associated characteristics include seizures, with approximately 20 to 25% of individuals with ASD developing them. Characteristics also include varying IQ scores, with almost half having average or above average intellectual abilities. Lastly, autistic individuals are commonly affected by co-occurring psychiatric diagnosis, such as depression and anxiety. In fact, 73 to 81% of adults with ASD meet the criteria for at least one co-occurring psychiatric diagnosis. In addition, many individuals with ASD present various learning challenges, many stemming from deficits in executive functioning. Common learning, learning challenges include distractibility, organizational difficulties, problems maintaining skills, and sensory needs that sometimes impede on learning readiness. What main areas are affected? As mentioned earlier, ASD is a spectrum, which means that individuals with autism will vary in the symptoms they exhibit and in the severity of those symptoms. All individuals with ASD do have communication challenges. Expressive language or what is spoken or communicated to others is a great area of difficulty for many. Their language abilities may vary widely from being nonverbal or minimally verbal. or to using vocabulary way above their chronolo chronological age and sounding very formal, which is known as pedantic speech. ASD also impacts expressive language because some may have issues with pragmatic language. It is common for autistic individuals to use literal interpretation, which could result in struggling when trying to understand statements like, go fly a kite or break a leg. Common challenges of ASD include those tied to social interaction and communication. This drop down mentions the most common challenges, which include little sharing of pleasure or interests, difficulty with back and forth conversations, limited or lack of eye contact, repeating what others say or echolalia, and difficulty using and combining nonverbal behaviors like eye contact or gestures to communicate. Behavioral challenges can also be seen when observing repetitive use of language, unusual motor mannerisms, the use of objects repetitively or in unusual ways, the occurrence of fixated interests or issues in flexibility. Sensory challenges include unusual reactions to the way things sound, smell, taste, etc. For example, an individual with ASD may prefer to sit far away from the kitchen at the place of work because of the smell of individuals heating up their food throughout the day. This can cause them to lose focus or cause them to feel overwhelmed. Other challenges include visual fascination, picky eating, or the need or may need accommodations such as headphones or adjustable lighting in the workstation. A couple of other challenges that autistic individuals may experience in their day-to-day -day life include having a limited repertoire of recreational activities, difficulty engaging in more complex peer relationships, and they may struggle with working collaboratively. Other challenges include seemingly being seemingly uninterested in others, having difficulty understanding the dating world, and struggling to maintain relationships, all of which should be considered in and out of the workplace. To resonate with these challenges, consider this scenario. Imagine being at a sold out heavy metal concert in an outdoor arena in the middle of summer. It's hot, it's loud, people are bumping into you and nobody is aware of anyone's personal space. 
The smells of sausages, hot dogs, alcohol, and sweat are all mixing together in the summer heat. This scenario can be overwhelming for most people. Imagine living in that state of sensory overload every day with little to no coping skills or accommodations. This could be a lot to handle. As mentioned earlier, there is no cure for ASD. There are instead treatments that seek to reduce symptoms that interfere with daily functioning and quality of life. These treatments are commonly broken down into behavioral, educational, and med medical intervention. The National Research Council on Autism provides specific critical elements needed to deliver the highest quality of interventions. As we know, early intervention with intensive engagement is a key element to ensuring that a child with autism grows up to be an independent adult. This includes maintaining high quality and prescribed intervention, which is necessary throughout the lifespan to help the individual gain as much independence as possible, as well as providing supportive teaching environments that utilize a development, developmentally organized curriculum with a broad scope and sequence planning. Examples of evidence-based intervention include antecedent-based intervention, video modeling, task analysis, social skills trainings, AAC devices, and visual supports. A broad list can also be found on the National Professional Developmental Center's website. When discussing the workplace, it is important to note that most treatments involve behavioral component, components. For example, as individuals with ASD exit high school and enter the workforce and adulthood, additional services can help improve daily functioning and facilitate social engage engagement. Supports in this area are tied to comp completing job training, continuing education, and finding employment. Support may also come in the form of job coaches and vocational rehabilitation agencies through the pre, during, and post, through pre, during, and post employment experiences. Now that we have touched on autism in the workplace, it is important to discuss the variety of benefits of employing individuals with ASD. Characteristics of adults, autistic individuals, commonly translate into strengths in employment as seen through their acceptance of differences in novel approaches to conflict re resolution. Not only are employees with autism more accepting of others, but today's consumers expect an inclusive culture which affects their career and spending decisions now more than in any previous generation. This is especially true for those in Gen Z and millennial generations. Another strength is job tenor. Employees with ASD are exi excited to come to work and are grateful for their employment. This helps with turnover rates company-wide, especially for companies with a variety of entry-level positions. Companies actively employing people with disabilities report 89% higher retention rates, a 72% increase in employee productivity, and a 29% increase in profitability. Other strengths that employees with autism can bring to the workforce include Integrity, meaning they are commonly honest, loyal, and committed. They commonly have good attendance. They commonly provide creativity and imagination. Strong attention to detail, as seen through their thoroughness and accuracy. Visual skills and deep concentration. And they provide a methodical approach, meaning autistic individuals are analytical and are known to be commonly detect patterns. Workplace strategies that can result in success for individuals with autism in the workplace include using an organized curriculum with broad scope and sequence in a supportive teaching environment, providing generalization and maintenance for tasks, relying on predictability and routines, supplying the appropriate accommodations and supports, and training staff to ensure that they remain trained. These strategies will be covered in depth throughout the later courses, but are initial steps that can be put into place to help an employee gain as much independence as possible. This video includes the final takeaways and ideas tied to eCourse 1. The primary focus of all programs for individuals with autism spectrum disorder should be to help them fulfill their potential to lead positive, productive, and rewarding lives. By understanding the nature of autism and the systematic implementation of evidence-based practices, anything and everything is possible. Use the right supports in the right setting with the right people and watch dreams come true. Just keep on working. As mentioned by UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, we must do better. 
by promoting inclusive education, equal employment opportunities, self-determination, and an environment where every person is respected. Thank you for taking Autism 101. If you'd like more information on gaining access to the full e-courses and e-courses two through five, please contact us at youcanemploy at elsforautism.com or visit the website to explore our membership plans.